Voting begins in Arizona today, where all three Republican nominees for the state's three top races are election deniers. Joining us now is Katie Hobbs, currently Arizona's Democratic Secretary of State and now running for governor against Republican, former Fox News anchorwoman, Trump candidate, Carrie Lake. So, welcome. It's very good to see you. Uh, you have refused to take part in the lone debate with Carrie Lake, giving her 30 minutes to present her ideas without any pushback. You've said you don't want to participate in a spectacle, but how is it productive to give her a platform where she will not be challenged? Well, I think you said it yourself in the intro that um, that all three top Republicans are election deniers. How do you debate someone who refuses to accept the truth, who doesn't live in facts, uh, and uh, it doesn't do any service to the voters in terms of deciding, uh, looking at the contrast between us and how uh, we're going to govern if all she's going to do is shout shout over me, interrupt me, and uh, and and spew lies. Uh, and in fact, uh, PBS is also giving me uh, the same format that Carrie Lake has. Uh, so, so she certainly will not go unanswered. We've looked for opportunities for formats where I can talk directly to voters, they can hear directly from me without the spectacle that Carrie Lake is gonna create. Uh, and we're, we're gonna have the same opportunity uh, here that she is as well. You know, the, the problem of election denial is is a national problem now. 60% of Americans are going to have an election denier on the ballot this fall. Of the 552 Republican nominees running for office, 200 have fully denied the legitimacy of the 2020 election. How concerning is that for Arizona, you know, where, of course, the centerpiece of the 2020 campaign denial was in that, you know, so-called forensic study after the 2020 election? Yeah. <laughs> the so-called forensic study. I like how you put that. Um, no, it is it is absolutely concerning. And, you know, this is part of a concerted effort, a coordinated attack on our democracy, on Americans' freedom to vote. Uh, these sham audits that you pointed out, the um, election deniers now in positions to actually hold office. Some of them already do. Uh, Trump is 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 putting people up to run for office and be in positions of power to change the rules and overturn the will of the voters. This is free and fair elections on the line. Democracy is on the ballot in 2022. Um, should you be focusing more on this election denialism issue? You know, as you as you go through this campaign, you've been endorsed by Adam Kinzinger. You've been supported by Liz Cheney. You haven't appeared with your own home state Democratic senators, to, to my knowledge, to our, our knowledge. Why is that? Uh, we're, we're absolutely focusing on this issue. It comes up in every uh, every engagement I have. Uh, but Arizonans, they know what's at stake, but they also want to move on. We have real issues we're facing. The things I'm talking to Arizonans about, our state's water crisis, fixing our neglected public education system, protecting reproductive health care, those are the issues that Arizonans want uh, their next governor to focus on. And they absolutely know that I'm going to continue to stand up for the integrity of our elections and protect their freedom to vote. Katie Hobbs, good luck out there on the campaign trail. We'll all be watching. Thank you so much. Thank you, Andrea. And of course, we reach out to the Carrie Lake campaign. Have not heard back yet. <laughs>